I think at some point you really start to get hyped over very, very well done scenes. <laughs> And that being, we're going to Garlemald. It's very soon. I don't know if... I think Nemu is fine in the cold, but... We can probably... We can, we can wear Tataru's... Um, North Sea coat. Like, for the time being. <laughs> Yeah, look at her! She's ready. Hey! Best receptionist. I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> A frosty rece reception. I'm told the airship pilot has been sent to, see uh, to meet you. Ah! There he is! Alright, this is where you this is where we go our separate ways. Do be careful, won't you? See you soon, Tataru. Oh it is an instance. Hey Let's do it. It's an honor to finally meet you! We of the Garland Ironworks will be ferrying you and your contingent across the mountains and into Garlemald. For many of us, it'll be something of a, of a homecoming. Our illustrious founder was only our most notable Imperial defector. For that reason, the company is committed to the success of this expedition. Our resources are at your disposal, and if there is aught we might do to be of further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. If you are ready to depart, I will ready the engines. Upon, upon boarding the airship, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Oh, okay. Uh, you will be required to participate in battle, okay? Your progress will be saved at certain points. In the event that you are defeated, you will be able to try again from the most recent of these. Okay. Uh, let's do it. Ilsebad, divided in twain by a vast mountain range. Those who would traverse its jagged peaks face peril at every step. But why go by foot when one can simply fly? Simply fly. <laughs> fly. Ah. <gasps> On the outskirts hey! of the imperial capital, in the frozen wastes of the Magna Glacius. Wow. The winds howl in icy protest, as if to warn against further trespass. <laughs> and then Elaine, oh my god. <gasps> wow, it looks very cold. So good. We've received word from Thancred's reconnaissance party. They've sighted a detachment of heavily armed Imperials. Survivors of the Civil War, perhaps. Perhaps, but there is more to it than that. Maxima reports oh. that they're led by Vigilia. Legatus of the Third Legion, which comprises the bulk of their number. Oh, rip. However, they are also joined by several members of the First. From what I recall, the Third Legion fought for Nerva in the War of Succession following Varus's death. 
The first, on the other hand, were under the direct command of the Emperor and rejected Nerva's claim to the throne. These legions were enemies. Indeed. In fact, our sources claim that it was a conflict between them that sparked the civil war. Oh, sh okay. Yet now, these former foes cooperate to defend a ruined Garlemald from invasion. Hmm. Then it is all but certain they have been tempered. So, what's the plan? If me and my crew is out reaving, we charge straight in, no messing about. But that ain't what we're here for. Yeah. Quite right. Soldiers or no, they are people of Garlemald. The very ones we have come to aid. Direct confrontation is unavoidable. Nevertheless, we must make every effort to limit casualties on both sides. Rather than kill them, I would remove them from the field. How so? Savage beatings, disarmament and imprisonment? Not impossible. But easier said than done in the heat of battle. That's true. Having observed the opposition, I imagine Thancred had something to suggest. He's wearing the coat from back when it was in Heaven's Ward. That's so cool. <laughs> he did. He and the other scouts have already infiltrated a supply depot some distance beyond the Imperial Detachment's current position. Stored within is a stockpile of Magitek armaments. And once we give the signal, Thancred's team will destroy them all. In so doing, we will deprive frontline troops of materiel and likely force the detachment to send men to investigate. Divide and conquer. Not a bad idea. <laughs> once the scouts have finished their preparations, we will split into two groups. The first will form the vanguard, while the other brings up the rear with our supplies. As for the Scions, I ask that you lend your assistance where you deem it needed most. I would prefer, however, that you accompany the rear guard and be prepared to join the van at a moment's notice. Kept in reserve as our trump card, so to speak. Makes sense. Meanwhile, at the Imperial Supply Depot. Okay. Is that where Thancren is? Oh, there he is! Oh my god! <laughs> he looks so good <laughs> in his winter clothes. <laughs> He's wearing, like, the the Law's Order coat. Your proposal was well received. More specifically, they asked that we destroy the Imperials' toys in as spectacular a fashion as possible. Ishtola always did have a flair for the dramatic. She's not an easy woman to please, but I shall do my best to satisfy her thirst for fireworks. All right. Once more for my peace of mind. Our first objective will be to rig the enemy's magitech with explosives. After we've withdrawn to a safe distance, we'll detonate them remotely. Okay. Our second will be to issue a deactivation command to the automated units via the control terminal. If our calculations are correct, this signal should reach those deployed on the front line, giving our friends a much needed upper hand. The blizzard will help us stay hidden, so let's aim to get in and out before it passes. Trust in the plan, and we should all live to see tomorrow. In the meantime, I will relay messages back and forth as the situation unfolds. You'll forgive me if I ask again, but are you certain you wish to play the lone wolf? Wouldn't have it any other way. Call it foolish and reckless if you like, but I'll get the job done. I always do. <laughs> Very well. 
I wish you the best of luck. Okay. Oh my god! What? God. Okay, I can't talk to them. Holy sh. Uh. Oh, swift deception. Oh, I see. Lasts for six seconds. Bewildered. Bewildered. Bewildered bomb. Oh, I see. I guess I, I'm hoping I know what I'm doing. Oh my god. Assuming there is nothing else you wish to confirm, we may commence the mission as soon as you are ready. Um, go over... Go over details again. Sorry. Okay. In the coming battle, you will fight a snake grid. You have two objectives. You place explosives on the uh, Imperial Magitek, Two, deactivate the frontline Magitech units via, via control terminal. So we have to place explosives. Okay. Okay. If the guards detect and pursue you, enemy forces will become more aware in the in the threat you pose, as indicated by the threat of awareness gauge. Oh, I see. The gauge will gradually fill until you defeated all alert enemies. I see. If the gauge is completely filled, the guards will call for reinforcements and the mission will end in failure. Use swift deception to avoid detection as you go about completing your objectives. Okay. Oh no. This is literally Assassin's Creed! <laughs> Alright, I guess... Let me learn the actions. Success in this mission hinges on the following points. Okay, so if the session renders Vanguard invisible and increases his movement speed, while active enemy soldiers in Magitech will be unable to perceive Vanguard's per uh, presence, even if they are within close proximity. However, it has no effect on the guard's dogs, acute sense of- oh, of course. Of course! <laughs> They are able to detect Thankard's, uh, Thankard regardless. Oh no, they- the- the- <laughs> This expansion is upping their game. <laughs> oh my god. Moreover, this action can be used uh, outside of combat. It will also be unavailable when Thankard attempts to deactivate magic tail fields to execute certain other actions. Okay. Um. Thankard's silent takedown will instantly render a soldier- Conscious. Oh, um, um, he's literally an assassin. <laughs> Can only be used while swift deception is in effect. It cannot be used on the Magitek or guard dogs. He's utilizing silent takedown whenever possible is essential on clearing the path to your objectives. Okay. As the guard dogs detect Thanker, even the slips. Even Swift's uh, uh, deception is active. You can still use a bewilderment bomb to distract them and sneak past them unnoticed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, they have no effect on Magitek or soldiers, so take care to choose the right tool for the situation. Okay. All right. I guess. Here we go. Am I ready? As ready as I'll ever be! Keep your wits about you. It's time. We only have one shot at this, so let's make it count. Swift deception.
Silent takedown? Okay. Uh, what do I do here? Oh my god, how am I not protected yet? I'm, I'm very focused at this moment. Uh, uh, uh. I got scared. <gasps> that scared me, shit! sec <laughs> trying to figure out now Ooh. Ooh. okay so they come up with dark guard dogs eh no use hiding those things okay luckily I've come prepared okay that's where I use the thing right Woof woof. Doggy doggy. Sniff sniff. Surely it'll be awake. <gasps> Must be losing my touch. Got caught just a bit. Please don't see me. Oh. Do the trick now. Hide and send the word. Okay. Um. How do I send the word? Where do I go? I just, I just want to be safe. Let me take. Yeah. Sorry. I'm gonna incapacitate you. All right. Cool. This is Thancred. The explosives are in place. Very good. All is proceeding as planned. Head to the control terminal. It should be to the northwest. Understood. Have the others wait at the rendezvous point. Uh, access the control terminal. Capacity? Uh, Jesus. Seven hells. I'm sorry, Thancred. I'm not. <laughs> oh no. There. 
Oh my god. I have to get over there. Holy shit. Please don't see me. Sorry. No! Hmm. Must be losing my touch. Oh, I... Oh... Uh, please... No! Oh my god! Okay, I'm going to die. Yeah. <laughs> Shit! Oh no! Okay. Ah, this is... Okay. Did it save at that checkpoint? Normal. Yes. Oh, sh well, I guess I have to start. No! I'm gonna take this guy out. There you go. Run, run, run. This is what I do in Assassin's Creed games. I knock people out and then run. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> I think I can freely... Shh. Jesus Christ, that thing... is like, scaring me. Please move. Oh my god! Ah, please! Damn, spotted. Shit! It was unavoidable. can do this. Oh my gosh. The control terminal, the no my notoriety is increasing. Gimme, 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 gimme. There you go! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> we 
did it. We good. <laughs> you are returned, and none the worse for wear, to my considerable relief. What news from our comrades? They stand at the ready. Excellent. Then let the fireworks begin. Let's begin. <laughs> A few moments later, at the rear of the Ilzabar Contingent Supply Caravan. The blizzard's beginning to clear. The vanguard should be engaging the Imperials any moment now. If they haven't already. Ishtola and the others are with them, so I'm sure they'll be alright, but... <gasps> is, that a, is that a dog? <gasps> Wait! Something's coming! It's a doge! <laughs> Oi, oi! Looks like we ain't the only ones who sent out scouts. Keep them away from the carriages! We lose those, and we're as good as dead! I love this music! Oh. <laughs> Badass! <laughs> Coming battle, you will be as Nimu Okire. Protect the others. to die. He needs to heal. Wow, that was that was Alize, right? But stay alert. Wow. Okay. Keep the carriages safe. Assist the Melanie's troops. I got you. Carriages are still in danger. Okay. Go on ahead. We'll hold the line. All right. <laughs> We're the only ones still struggling. Turn 
we put our backs into it then? I've been itching for a good scrap. All right, we good? That last bounce is going for the carriages. Stop it in its tracks. Okay. Oh wait! Holy shit! Quick broadside it. Okay. Oh my god! They're so cool. Oh my god. We're fine. I'm ready for more. Hear that? Get to the front and turn the tide. Head north and join the vanguard. Meanwhile, on the front line. the field was not a euphemism for enthusiastically murder. It's nothing that won't heal in time. <laughs> the trouble is, their tempering has made them utterly fearless. Subduing them would be easier if they had the capacity to submit in the first place. Well, this is the path our young charges would have us walk, and that we all agreed to follow. You knew it would be hard, yet still you pledged your lance, did you not? Mm. That I did. <laughs> No way. Are we fighting as? That's for Gilia. Damn it. I need to help the others take her down. There's no end to them. <gasps> Here I am. Hello. I was wondering when you'd turn up. There's no stopping us now. Come on, let's show them what we're made of. Hey. Caravan is safe for the time being, and thank the team have thrown the enemy into disarray. Just as planned! Oh! There's 
smart! Let them have it! Put them together. would be proud. I I'm doing a lot of AoE skills. Only death awaits. Oh no! They're defeated. My hunger is far <laughs> <gasps> oh my god. I protect you. I don't know if that was a good move or not. <laughs> it was cool all the same. Oh, it's those things. Yes, Serena, baby, we're good. Reinforcements? Oh no. Take position. <gasps> Serena is in trouble. Bombs away. Oh my lord. More fodder for my flames. Is she gonna do an LB3? So many at this week will be overwhelmed. I will not fall so easily. These curs will taste my wrath. Hey. More of them. Quick, lens to do a hand. Okay. Make way! These whelps will rue the day they crossed my path. Tremble before the sun! Ha ha ha! May your screams fill the air! 
<laughs> oh, she's doing the thing again. Hey, good shit. That's so good. <laughs> of them oh my god magna <laughs> the day is ours thanks to your timely arrival what of the supply caravan it's fine hmm outmaneuvered but not outmatched good let us take the Imperials into custody and rejoin our comrades and soon we shall arrive at the capital. So cold and unforgiving, thus spoke Empress Solace oh. as he gazed upon his barren domain. Okay. Eight hundred years it had been since the Garleans first <gasps> set foot here. Bested by the Kavosi after centuries of war and driven from fertile southern pastures into the blasted northern wastes. Oh my god. In that garden of desolation, they clung to one another for warmth, freezing, hungry. Desperate. Hated. Oh my god. The Chosen Forsaken. In the year 1513 of the Sixth Astral Era, a young Legatus named Solus single-handedly sparked the Magitech Revolution. It's Emmy. How did he conceive the machina that feed on Ceruleum? Once a common, soft-spoken soldier, how had he so quickly ascended through the ranks? Soft-spoken, huh? Like so many others, those who knew the truth are gone. Taking in the capital with his eyes for the first time, I recall thinking to myself, far colder on the earth than in the heavens. Yes. Far colder indeed, bitterly so. Oh, there it is. Garlemald. Not so much as a whisper. The roads leading beyond the city walls would have been used less in recent years. Nevertheless, this was one of the most important gateways into the capital. A buzz day and night with activity, aye. 
Merchants passing through the checkpoint, many of them stopping at the local hostelries. Surely they cannot all have been tempered. I mean, it's possible. We can consider the question after we have made camp. If we spend any longer outside, we may well freeze to death where we stand. The tempered Imperials, too. This will be our temporary base of operations. Secure shelter for ourselves and the injured, and dispatch scouts to survey the surrounding area. If we're planning on staying here a while, we ought to give this place a proper name. Hmm. Well, the constant sound of ice cracking underfoot makes me think of broken glass. An apt name, perhaps. But enough of this. To work, everyone. Packed here. Shouldn't be long before we have a half decent camp with so many helping hands. I was concerned the snow might hinder our progress, but our Ishgardian friends are used to the working conditions like these. Yes. In spite of the obstacles we face, our plans proceed apace. Just a little farther and we will reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camp has been made, to fit, uh, made fit for purpose, we are to discuss a course of action with Lucia. Do you mind asking Ishtola and Gra Graha, <laughs> Graha to join us at the at that building to the northeast of the camp. Alize and I will meet you there. A meeting? Yes, I'll make my way over there once my head is cleared. In truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. The air is thick with a palpable aura of malevolence. Yeah. Tis the monstrous tower on the horizon. Jagged, hideous, unholy. Even at this distance, its presence is overwhelming. Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zot, only far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly towards it. Converging into a swirling mass of unfathomable power. For a blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in, he in the here and now. Tell the others I shall be with you in the short moments. Okay. Alright. Rahatia. You will be pleased to know that most of the tempered have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. I do, however, feel no small amount of guilt for commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything is exactly as they left it. Considering the length of time that has clearly passed since, one would expect to find them ransacked. Strangely, there are no signs of anything that have been sto having been stolen, so they were tempered. Mm. It's possible that everyone fled at the first sign of trouble. Oh, though it seems to me they left far too many va useful possessions behind. Aye, although there is no conclusive evidence, 
I strongly suspect that they were tempered. Yeah. Sorry. I was merely thinking aloud. You mentioned a meeting? I will make my way there. He looks so good in that coat. <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. Did I already attune to this etherite already? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Alright, let's make our way over there then. Rabound taught me a lot about military strategy during the exercises in the fringes. Coordinating units with wildly different capabilities, surveying and securing hostile terrain, that sort of thing. Now, I have the chance to put these teachings into practice. That's good, Lise. Regilia is in our care, along with the rest of the tempered. Glory to Garlemald. Glory to Garlemald. They still whisper in their sleep, even, if, even as they writhe in pain. Yeah. We've asked the Ironworks members and some of our other comrades to stay with the airships. In the event we are discovered, we must be ready to move them swiftly to a safer location. Oh, this is all that remains of Laterum. Homes become empty husks. This is the state of the outlying villages. I dread to think what has become of the capital. The tempered soldiers are sleep sleeping soundly while they undergo treatment. There are too many to attend at once, but I and the other healers will see to all eventually. Hell's bells! This place is blood and freezing! Rather be tied to a top mass in the storm than suffer this cold any longer! Anyone uh, anyone what can what can spare a wig of rum? That'll sort the right that'll sort me right out. <laughs> You'll probably get it soon. Alright. Lucia, what do we got? Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we will begin. Our present situation is as follows. Uh, okay. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Telophoroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and the administrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it will be prudent for me to remain within the camp. Oh, I see. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. 
My Smiths reckon with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophoroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. Hmm. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Uriange, Estinian and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. <laughs> Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we should be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? Huh? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. Oh. <laughs> It would be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. Not a problem. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphano. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Oh, okay. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. <laughs> yeah, if there are any survivors, we'll surely find them. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the Fury bless and keep you. Right. Looks like we got this. I never thought myself much of an explorer, though I suppose my adventures have taken me to all sorts of strange and distant places. With that in mind, traversing an ice field should be a simple feat. <laughs> oh, I'm Annalene! Hello! There's this odd perception that Ishgardians have lived their whole lives in the snow, but it wasn't really that bad before the calamity. And afterwards, well, I was rarely more than a few paces from a raging fire. This dreadful place, on the other hand, is nothing but cold, cold, cold! And it's my understanding that Ilzebard has always been this way. Gods, can you imagine? <laughs> You're good. Alright. Gods be good. If it's this cold with Tataru's clothing, I dread to think how fair we uh, how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when we next meet. When next we meet. It makes me realize too that while the people of Garlemald have spent their whole lives in conditions like these, even they'd be hard pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them and quickly. Tracks in the snow. <laughs> what 
Toe, chums. Been given to something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. <laughs> Sounds like a rather tall order. Order. Ahem. Since you ask, we're to scour the Elven Rhine for sub survivors. What? Wander around the ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone? It'd take forever to finish the job without the benefit of my expertise. Or more specifically, my telescope. Come, friends. I know just the spot to begin our search. A. 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 I'll probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. Uh, he's being useful right now. He has a telescope. I think we'll find something off in the, like, far off. Oh, there's already, um, an ether current here. Let's take it. Looks like they're over there. few buildings I can see don't appear to be residences. They may still warrant investigation, though. I'm surprised by how many wild beasts there are roaming about the place. Perhaps that now that the soldiers have gone, they're free to wander and forage as they, as they please. By with my little telescope a massive sheep thing or maybe it's a cow not what we're after either way is that an ether current ah uh, no just a wind sprite <laughs> hmm other than that it's all snow 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 but lo what do I see or or yon hillock There's no mistaking it. That's a girl. A girl? A survivor? Show me. Over there, behind that tree. It looks like she's running away from something. Though surely not us. She wouldn't even know we were, were here unless she had a telescope my, like mine. All I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress. A rather fetching one at that. She'll be long gone by the time we get anywhere near. But we should be able to follow her footprints. I'll let Lucia know where you're heading. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. The poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. That's actually very thoughtful. Thank you. But won't you need some for yourself? No, no. I'll be fine. As a man of chivalry, my honor demands I do no less. And lest we forget, the very reason we are here is to protect those in need. Oh. Now go. And Godspeed! I'll see you later. <laughs> Now's your chance to play the hero. Alright, see ya. Let's... let's find her. Footprints in the snow. This already takes me back to freaking Heaven's Ward. Trail of fresh put footprints head uh, lead east.
These footprints appear to be the same as those you saw previously, and they lead towards the building. According to the label here, this place was used by those involved with extracting, uh, extracting cerulean. We're getting closer. I'm sure of it. At first, we thought she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been opened in some time. She might still be nearby, so we'll keep around. Uh, we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible that she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? Yeah, no problem. Whoa, look at those pipes. The girl in the green dress anxiously surveys her surroundings. Oh, there she is. Were you to call were you to call out to her from this distance, it might attract wild beasts to your location. It would be safer to get closer first, but you must do so without drawing her attention. Okay. Follow the girl from the safe distance. The objective would end in failure if you are noticed. Makes use of the cover as rocks approach her without being seen. The rocks. Like those rocks? Right there? That seems awfully convenient, but okay. Similarly, the objective will also end in failure if you fall too far behind. Okay. Should you fail to complete this objective, you may try again by returning to the designated location. So far, so good. That monster. I'm already getting the creeps, bro. I'll stay right here. Is someone there? Nope, no one's here. I must be imagining things. my breath. If those beasts spot me, I'm done for. My luck holds. Please do not come closer. I swear to God. Just a little farther. Ah. Uh. Fuck. Ah. Uh. 
yo! Uh, that's... Uh, no, that's stinky. I was doing so well! <laughs> I was doing so well! <laughs> Come on. Just sprint, just sprint, just sprint, just sprint. When will she stop? Oh, there she- okay. Okay. Oh my god, bro. <sighs> that was tough. <laughs> Imagine following a girl being that tough. <laughs> <sighs> Still in one piece. Hey, can I talk to you now? Stay back! This house is packed with explosives. Take another step, and I'll blow this place sky high! Please, we just want to talk. I'm Alphano. This is my sister Alize, and our good friend Nemu. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else. I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid for the people of Garlem Law. Aid? You savages are the ones responsible for all this! You did this to us! We didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came was to find out what happened here, in fact. The Talaferoi are the ones to blame. They're the ones who laid waste to Garlem And they won't stop until they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy. Our enemy. On our way, we encountered Imperial soldiers who have been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we are striving to cure them of their affliction. You're the first person we've met who hasn't already enslaved. How were you able to escape the Talafroi's influence? Are there many others like you? Are, are, are there any others like you? I'm sorry. I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with an introdu- Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? I- My name is- uh, My name's Lis- uh, Lysina. As for how I've managed to stay sane... I've been asking myself the same question. Ever since that night, the roar... That terrible roar. And then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Then came the silence. Everything was still. It was like... Waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped. So I stepped outside. If your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran, past friends, people I'd known all of my life. Eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but didn't stay to watch. I fled, as far as my legs could take me. Do you have family here? Is this your home? Is this their home? No. 
This is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers. Or it was. But now me, and my... Me and a few others are, um, borrowing it. As for the explosives, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe, and I didn't know if you were... <sighs> the truth is, our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help, can you? Of course. Whatever assistance we can provide, we will. Thank you. I'd better th tell the others first, though. Wait here. I, I bet you they're not going to trust us. This is everyone. A. Hey. Messina says you can be trusted. But these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let foreign troops into our home. Having said that, were you to provide with uh, us with means of heating the place as a sign of goodwill, perhaps we could take you at your word. If that is too much to ask, then leave us be. Time to put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic, Alizé? We'll have the fire burning in no time. May we build it under the that gazebo? The what? Oh, you mean the tower? Yes, yes, do as you will. Uh... Uh... She's awfully quiet. You're awfully quiet. How the mighty have fallen. Hmm? Sorry. I was... I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave space around the fire for the others. As you can tell, they're in far worse state than me. We were planning to look for somewhere warmer or with more food. But they're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health. Which I don't know what to do. Is there anything you can do to help them? Ah, uh, sure. Let us assist. There's a fucking radio? Oh, I guess to listen in on the news to see if there's like anything. Holy shit. I didn't think there'd be radios here. <laughs> What they need most is a decent meal. We've we have food back at the camp, but there's a, this distance to consider. All's well. All's well. With food in my belly and the song in my heart. I can feel my fingers again. I can treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it will take time for the fire to do uh, to do its work. Now would be a good dis uh, occasion to make use of Emanelie's tinctures. The ones that can warm the body from the inside out. Would you make sure everyone gets one? Yeah. Let's do it! Here. The numbness is beginning to subside. Though I suspect once the fire dies, it will return with a vengeance. Nah, take this. Warming tincture? I've never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Though calling it seems absurd after what's happened, it's nothing but ruins now. 
The few buildings still standing offer no more than meager protection from the wind and snow. Food production, water purification, the magic tech that sustained us for the uh, has come to a grinding halt. With machina that remains operational, cannot to, uh, cannot be run for the lack of cerulean. Of course, cerulean engines is full of that stuff. For all the good it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. All is well. Yes, never better. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? <laughs> Twas a joke, a joke. <laughs> Uh, uh. If I laugh, tis that I may not weep. So said the poet. And alas, my tears could freeze on my cheek ere they fall. Oh. Oh. We are the blessed damned, the blessed damned, to bear witness to the fall of the great empire. While our brethren lie dead, or li live on as puppets of flesh. First came the war. Then came the roar. When morning came, Garlemald was no more. Oh. In the cap, ca ca uh, the castophony of gunfire, explosions, and screams was our beloved capital raised to the ground. From the rubble rose to the disheveled remnants. Their lavish finery caked in flesh as they shuffled mindlessly towards the palace. Each bearing a fragment of stone or metal an offering, perhaps, to the architect of our destruction. A hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged, only to be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to plead with the horde. I fled with my health, if not my conscience preserved. Now I wait my fellow cowards for our final judgment. Oh my god. Oh god. What do you want? Hmm. A tincture? May as well drink it, I suppose. I see you got a radio. This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it. We use them to listen to messages sent by others. Even at over great distances. Hey! It is a radio! There are different types, but this model is far more- uh, far the most popular. Made with quality components crafted with the finest ore. Sourced from Locus Aminus, it is. Not all that useful since the capital fell into ruin. The people at the broadcasting station must have either fled or ended up like all the others. Because all we've been hearing is the same music, being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon, an ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral, ancestral homeland of Locus Aminus. We may have founded the Empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hope to take back what once was ours. Tis a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardship, better days will surely come. Despite everything, I believe that Emperor Varus yet lives. Oh, and that he speaks to us through our radios. <laughs> oh no, I hate to tell you this. It was a cunning strategy, faking his murder. He must have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself. He may one day make his triumphant return. Oh no. Oh no. I hate to tell you this, dude. <laughs> He's already dead. Yes. Yes, I'm sure of it. Emperor Varus would not be defeated so easily.
What's that? Oh, yeah. For you. So this is what you gave the others. Thank you. I'll save it for later. Actually, I have a few things to ask you. Are you part of the group in staying in Laternum? I saw Legatus Vergelius troops heading towards the Magna Glaces a few days ago. Are they the ones you encountered? Camp Broken Glass, you call it. And Vergelia and her men are all there now. Hmm. How did you reach the Magna Glaces? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Airships. Then there might be a way to... Lucina, where is everyone? Huh? Who is there? I is something the matter? I heard a voice. No. You're a lying piece of shit. Tell me the truth. <laughs> A voice inside you say, you must be imagining things, everyone's out here. Yeah, sure. Perhaps a baby Almasti has found its way into the house. It wouldn't be the first time. Now you're... you're lying. But that's a so soldiers to scare them off. With a wild animals have been roaming closer to the settlements. Some have been known to attack people too. I, I just had an idea. If you and yours are strong enough to defeat the Gletus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. Yeah, sure. If you mind to continue helping us, perhaps you can head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of trappers living there. People whose job was to extract cerulean. They still do, but we can tell. I've already tried asking if they could share their fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange. Lots of food. And that's something we don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to even reach their den, We'd have to make our way past all those creatures. Would you be willing to go in our place? We only need enough cerulean to last until the others are strong enough to travel to our camp- uh, to your camp. If the author still stands, that is. Oh, and I don't expect you to give up your own supplies. But there might be another way to pay the trappers. Hmm. You'd best watch out for baby Almastis while they are away. Hmm? Ah, yes, of course. If I see any, I'll be sure to shoot them away. To reach Trapper's Den, you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support the per a person's weight, but if you'd rather not take the risk, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky, too. It's easier just to look for someone standing guard outside. However you decide to head there, please be careful. Um. Wow. Hmm. Oh, there is... Camp Broken Glass. Turretum? Unattuned. I have to go down here. Let's see. It would be down there. What the? 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god, I ex- Dude, okay. Who goes there? And how did you find us? Okay. What do you mean I stand out like a sore thumb? Huh! If the purebloods over at the Victor Spoils hadn't given away our location, you would have never found us. Those stuck-up arseholes. Thought they could come waltzing in here demanding Cerulean like uh, with nothing offered to return. Ha! Looks like the boots on the other foot now the capital's gone to shite. So they've escorted sending you to negotiate? I know your name. Sellsword. If they think we'll give in to intimidation, they've got another think coming. Alright. Let's kill you. Stop, please! Consider me intimidated! Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I fucking thought. <laughs> There you are. Oh! Just after you left, Lucinda asked me to go and catch up with you. In case you needed a hand. Someone must have let, let slip I've, uh, that I have a little experience in transporting barrels of ceruleum. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, it's... It's freaking Alphano, isn't it? So this is Tapper's Den. Well then, after you. Who are you? What happened to the guards? Are Yorzian and rebels here to save the people of Garlemald? That doesn't make any goddamn sense! Why in the hells would you pass up the chance to put your Imperial bastards to the sword? Let me guess. None of you are Garlean. You thought you you were brought here from another other lands? Girabania, Yansha, Bozja, Dalmaska, to name but a few. Some dragged here against our will. Others fed bollocks about a better life. All put to work extracting ceruleum. All given the esteemed title of an placed us firmly on the bottom rung of the ladder. Oh. The, oh but the old hierarchy means nothing in the new Garlemald, says we. About the only thing that's escaped more or less unscathed is cerulea engines. Still sustaining us, even with our paymasters out of the picture. We hear you're experts in drawing up ceruleum from the bottom of the lake. But how can you do that if it's frozen over? Ha! Huh, wouldn't you like to know? Trade secrets, I'm afraid. At any rate, it's not as if ceruleum is used for much these days. What with the city in ruins, we take enough to power our heaters and save the surplus of uh, for later. And though it helps to stave off the cold, it does sod all about our hunger unless we can trade it away. Jarek, okay. Speaking of which, be sure to tell your contingent we've got ceruleum by the bearful. If they're interested. And we'll exchange it for whatever provisions they're willing to spare. We can certainly ask. But if you're all free to go now, why carry on living here? Free to go? Go where? Even if we managed to get back to our homelands, there'd be nothing left for us, thanks to the Empire. And the knowledge and skills we acquired working here would be practically useless outside of Garlemald. Uh, why not join Sid, bro? He, he's always willing to have more hands. Oh, <laughs> so we're staying for the time being. L long as there's a need for Ceruleum, we'll find a way to get by, even if Garlemald as we knew it is gone for good. Gone for good.
Interesting. Regardless of what the Ilzabar contingent does for the people of Garlemald, the Empire itself is already a thing of the past. For many, that would be a cause for celebration, while for others, their whole way of life would have been turned upside down. After all the atrocities committed in the Empire's name, perhaps it is for the best that, they, that it is consigned to history. But what of the ordinary people, their lives, and their stories? Should they be forgotten too? Hmm. I suppose there will be plenty of time to ponder that later. For now, let's see about getting some cerulean. I see. Hmm. Very interesting. So, you've come seeking cerulean, have you? What? Those purebloods up at the Victor Spoil sent you? To turn to their enemies for help, they must be more desperate than I thought. Then again, Christina's got her little sister to think about. A sister? But we only saw Lysina and the three men. Yeah, that's probably who the little who that that faint voice is. It's possible she died from whatever was ailing her. If she needed treatment, I doubt there'd be any way to get it around here. I may have refused Lucina at first, thinking she'd come back with something to exchange, but I could spare them a bottle's worth of cerulean. Consider it a reward for introducing me to the rest of your contingent. Be sure to send them our way, you hear? I can't for the life of me think why Lucina would keep her sister a secret from us, but we... Uh, we, we can ask after we've delivered the cerulean. Come on, let's hurry back. Jeez. So it's now confirmed that the little girl is... Not the little girl. The, the little voice. The little faint voice inside that building is Lucina's sister. And I don't know why she'd think it's a good idea to <laughs> to hide that fact from us. But we are coming back. And we're gonna we're gonna be asking some questions. How'd they get up there? I'll find out. Can you do it like this? Oh you can! Oh <gasps> Let's go! Alright. Now we're heading back. This isn't right. It's too quiet. I would have thought Alphano would still be treating them by the fire. But they're nowhere to be seen. I'll look inside the house. While you search outside, they can't have gone far. Uh-oh. Oh no. It's already- this is already gonna be bad. Oh, Alphano. <gasps> Did he fucking get injured?! What the fuck did you do?! What happened? They asked me... Asked me to carry... Help carry supplies. But when I followed them here... Back here... They attacked me. Fucking bastards. Alright. Caught me off guard. Forced me... To defend myself. I fear they fared rather worse than me. Can't fool us. We know. We know what you're about. Vultures, that's what you are. Waiting in the wings for us to fall to show weakness. Then in you swoop. Here to help? What rot? All a ploy. To make us lower our guard. You fucking attacked first! That's not our fault! 
let you in. Put yourselves at, our, at your mercy. Put us in chains. Steal our lands. Get your revenge. Okay. Uh, you have a point, but <laughs> we're not that kind of people. You're wrong. That's not what any of us want. Yeah, exactly. Save the arguments for later. We've got bigger problems. I found MC medicine bottles in a bed that was still warm. It's true. Lucina was hiding her sick sister inside the house. But now, there's no sign of either of them. Where are they? Where did they go? Away from you and yours. And if you think I'll tell you, you're a fool. I never give up my people. Sure. We're trying to help them, you idiot! Her sister's ill. The empty bottles proved it. So the medicine ran out, or she, or she put it in her pockets to make it easier for, to carry. Or to avoid sound, uh, the sound of uh, kinkling glass. There are beasts everywhere. How could you let them go alone? To protect them from you! You invade our homeland. Taint it with the same sorcery used to slay our countrymen. A garlean should soon, uh, sooner die than to suffer insult. Uh, I don't think we were invading. Better for them to flee. Keep their purity intact. Than be corrupted by your vile magics. We were waiting. Waiting for a chance to free them. Since the moment you arrived. This is getting us nowhere. I cannot say how Lucina and her sister will react when we find them. But find them we must. Go on without me, both of you. I first need to tend my, to my injuries. And theirs. I will join you in the search after. Alright. Be careful. We'll do our best to find them quickly. There's only one path out of here, and so uh, and that uh, so that's where we'll start. All right. Oh, footprints. Two set of fresh footprints. Young women, judging by the size. This is definitely them. Come on. The trail stops at the frozen lake. Perhaps they chose this route as to not leave footprints. I can't think of any other reason. Look at this place. It's crawling with beasts, and I can only imagine how hard it must be for her ailing sister to cross the ice. We could really do with Alphano's help, but we can't afford to wait for him. Let's split up and search for clues. Alright. Damn. She could be anywhere in this region. Empty bottle? Oh no. The empty bottle smells faintly of alcohol. The thin coat of dirt indicates it has been here for some time, and it is unlikely to have any connection to Lucina and her sister. It's fine. 
She has to be somewhere in this ice. Gosh. Maybe if I keep going forward. Fresh blood? Oh no. The blood staining from the snow appears to be fresh. Judging by the amount, the victim may have been severely wounded. Oh no. Trail blood leads southeastwards. Oh. Looks like- sounds like thunder. Okay. No, not now, please. No. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. How could this have happened? Oh, no. They're fucking dead. The two bodies are already cold. Fortunate. Unfortunate. I found them. It's too late. It's too late. Blood trail. We found one. They were attacked. They're gone. No. Music is so ominous. Safer to brave the wilds than trust in our magic. We should have. I should have. to take them home. What if we're only making it worse? Maybe we don't belong here, but neither do they. Not out here in the wind and the cold. the story about Varus's voice from beyond the grave. Of course I didn't believe it, but Licinia and her sister did. Perhaps there is something to the tale after all. I want to understand, so I'm going to borrow this for a while, if that's all right. Oh, okay. 
You had every reason not to trust us. We came as trespassers, invaders. But I pray that in time, we will be more than that to you. That we will find a way to help your loved ones. And see that no more children are left to freeze alone in the snow. thinking, didn't Izel said something similar? That no more children should be left alone in the snow? I, I could be thinking wrong, but... There must have been something we could have done. But what? Should we have never come here? Would they still be alive if we hadn't? Hmm. I'm gonna let... Major Green have this. 